Lesson eight involves creating HTML5 forms. And forms are used everywhere on the web. Uh, they are used to display information. They are used for you to enter information and share it. Uh, anytime you purchase anything, you're filling out a form. They're literally used everywhere. So you are going to learn how to create forms and all of the different form elements. Uh, so you're going to read through the book and then work through the lecture demo. And in the lecture demo, I do have a little video overview that explains how forms work. Uh, and as you go through here, we go through uh, the form tag, which is kind of how the form starts. And then we get into how you group elements all the different types of input tags, all the different types of attributes. Uh, there's actually quite a bit to creating forms. And when possible, I do have interactive exercises. So uh, you can see the code I used and the exercise. This is also interactive up here. Uh, so as you go through here, uh, quite a few of these little examples you can actually use and play with. Okay, so uh, by the time you get done with this, you will know how to create a form. Uh, you will know how to submit the form to a script. And you'll also know how to create what we call a mail to form, which comes through the email. Uh, then uh, you will work on the textbook assignment which gives you some practice creating a regular form that submits to a script and also a form that submits to email. Uh, and there are videos in each of these sections that explain what to do. Uh, you will be downloading uh, this customer form uh, with a running uh, graphic that goes with it. And I have created a style sheet for you. Uh, I've kind of pre-entered some tags, but uh, everything below the H1 Running Club membership, you will have to enter. Okay, so uh, the first form you create is going to be a lot of data entry and you know where possible you copy and paste and adjust uh, but once you have a form that works for future forms you know you can copy and paste different form elements when you are done this is what your form should look like make sure you have these three sections uh, sometimes students uh, skip or maybe it's late at night, but they don't end up with all three sections. So make sure you double check. Um, this will be the form that you submit to a script. And the script that you have to submit to is entered in the form tag. So this is where you are going to be submitting to the form processor. Basically, all it does is it displays the uh, form element and the value that you entered back to you. Uh, then you're going to take that form and you're going to convert it into a mail to form. Uh, and there's a video that explains how to do that. But basically, you change one line <laughs> in the form and it becomes a mail to form. Okay, so that is the assignment. Uh, then you are going to do uh, your own assignment in the lab. So in the lab, you're going to create your own form. And you can use that customer form as kind of a template. Um, I do have an example that has all of the required elements okay, in the form. Uh, but this is the type of form that you're going to need. You need to have certain text elements. You need to have uh, check boxes and options. This is an open list box data list. Okay, so uh, you do need different elements. And this kind of goes through what you need on your form. Okay, and you will be um, submitting to a script. 
In fact, so you get the address right, you may want to just copy and paste right from here. And so uh, once you've got the form, you will uh, transfer it, uh, add it to your assignment page, transfer everything, and add done to the Dropbox. Um, because the forms are kind of fun to look at, you are going to share your work with the class by going into the discussion forum. And uh, you're going to post a link to your form. So you need to tell people who the audience is, what the purpose is, and how did you decide on the design and layout? So first thing you'll do is, uh, you know, tell people what type of form you have. Okay, and then as far as a link to your form, you can just <clears throat> click up here, control C, come back and if you really want a link, you can use the link icon here. Control V will paste. It's nice for it to open in a new window. Create the link. That gives you a link to the form. Okay, and then you can answer the questions. In fact, you can kind of copy and paste those. Who is the audience? Students. <laughs> Uh, I should say current and potential. Uh, what is the purpose? To find out preferences for class times. Days. How did you decide on the design and layout? Well, let's see, I used a flexible layout. Um, with a calming background image and colors that go with the image. All right, so answer the questions, uh, post to the forum, and then uh, after this is due, uh, the next week, your classmates will be taking a look at your forms and you do need to reply to at least one post uh, from another student. Okay, so uh, that is pretty much what your discussion forum involves. And once you finish that, you are done with the work for the week. 